So there's something special about this Sunday, and it has couples by the thousands rushing to the altar. So what's so unusual is the date, 10-10-10, a perfect number for many and a lucky number as well. Imagine a world without numbers? They're everywhere, but do numbers have a hidden meaning? I think some people are drawn to numbers, are drawn to numerology, because numbers are sort of mystical. Uh, they have many different meanings, and a lot of people think that numbers will be able to predict what will happen in their lives. Predicting what will happen on today's date, 10 10 10, has garnered a lot of attention. There's been a lot of hype, I think, about the 10, 10, 10. We reduced the, the 1 from 10, the 1 from 10, the date, and 20, 10 is 3. So the day actually reduces to a universal 5 day. 5 is about love. It's about self-expression. The date 10, 10, 10 this year is going to be a great date for big events. Big events like weddings? We picked it basically because it was a unique number. It's just a memorable date that nobody will forget. Melissa and Andy are just one of more than 32,000 couples who are getting married today, according to the Knot.com. 10, 10, 10 as a wedding date is hugely popular. In fact, there are 500% more brides getting married this Sunday than there were last year on the same Sunday. Meanwhile, for those who are born on 1010, the date holds symbolic meaning. Carrie Lyons' triplet sons are turning two today. 101010 10, 10 isn't going to happen ever again. And our little guys are identical triplets. The odds of them are one in a hundred million. So you start to really think about numbers and the role that they play and the significance of it all. And joining us now with more insight is Glynis McCants, numerologist and author of Love by the Numbers, How to Find Great Love or Reignite the Love You Have Through the Power of Numerology. Glynis, good morning. Good morning. Well, let's start with today. It's 10, 10, 10, which to me is just something kind of neat on a calendar, but to you has, has true and, and different significance. Well, it sure does, but also what people don't realize, you really don't break down numerology that way. You take 10, 10, 2010, and I did my little chart here to show you. Okay. So when you add that up, it's like, one plus one plus two plus zero plus one plus zero that becomes five jenna you add all and, the numbers up, yeah right? and jen that's celebration so five is the celebration number so do you see why that would be good for a lot of people getting married i understand that and that's why they feel called to do it and by the way in the united kingdom i hear there's thirty one thousand people getting ma married there as well so it's, a big, yeah. so it's a very big it's deal all over the across place. the world. Right. And, and you say there's something special you should do on this day that holds yes, true significance. Yes, this is why it matters. Again, if you look at the numbers, you've got three ones in the chart. One is ambition. So it's making you feel motivated. You should sit down today, make a note of what it is you want to accomplish. Okay. And the three zeros represent divine intuition. So if you go with your gut instinct, you won't be sorry. What I'm suggesting people do is light a white candle and meditate on what you want. What do you want to achieve for the rest of the year? What are your goals that's the kind of day it is it's actually very powerful for just for yourself it's a big day yeah and if it's if it's a birthday or if it's an anniversary for you today does that hold specific significance yes it does and here's why because those numbers repeat themselves like 10 10 10 if i was born today i would know okay this is my year this okay. is my new beginning for me to again achieve what i want and be successful so yes happy birth to the happy birthday to those who who are today but also getting married it's powerful so you say every month also has a number and holds its own significance like what does october mean for okay. example now october is a message to everyone because we're all in October, right? Right. So October is a 10 also. It means, you know how you feel like you didn't accomplish everything you wanted? Do you feel this year went fast for you? It did. Okay. It's October already. <laughs> Glenn, it's October. I know. So what I suggest people do, sit down today with that little candle and write down what you're trying to achieve for the rest of the year because it's still possible. That's what they need to understand. They can still make things happen by doing that in the month of October. It's really a good month for moving forward. So all in all, 10, 10, 10, Good year, good day today. Good day for people getting married, good day for relationships, but also working on your personal self. Like, what are your goals? Do you want to work on your physical body? Do you right. want to work on your mind? Maybe there's a class you can take. Exactly. And there's a lot of celebrities born today, aren't there? I, I'm going to imagine there yes, are. Yes, but they're all famous, like uh, Dale Earnhardt, you know. Junior, yes, he was born on 10-10-10, right. I do um, know David that. Lee Roth, I believe. 10, 10, the, 10. the point is, anyone born that is famous, it's not an accident because their, their numbers are two, which makes us fall in love. When you have a two in your chart, people fall in love with you. And the one makes them ambitious to say, I want to be the best at what I do. And that's what they've done. It's a lot to take in. It's one of those things you want to sit down and actually look at in front of you. Glynis McCants, thank you so much. Really appreciate your insights. You're welcome.